Good morning darlings, welcome to a new daily vlog, or maybe a couple of days, I haven't quite decided how long this vlog's gonna be. It is Easter weekend, so we've got a really nice day planned. We're actually going to pick up our new car en route to Charlie's mum and dad's, so that's really exciting. And um, it is the most beautiful day, it's been such a scorcher this weekend. It's hotter here than Barcelona, as the news likes to keep reminding us. And I've popped on my favourite little Tory Burch dress which I haven't worn officially since I photographed it, so it's its first like real outing. I wanted to do my makeup with you this morning because Amazon have launched a beauty collection through their Find um, brand. So Amazon Find is like their own brand where they have fashion and now beauty products. I was so impressed with so many of the pieces that I tried on from their fashion range. The thing that surprised me the most were the boots. I wore, I see, I'll see if I can find a picture and pop it on the screen here. But I had these little boots, which every time I wore them, so many people asked where they were from and they were so affordable and such good quality. So I hold Amazon Find in good regards. They very recently launched the beauty collection and I have a selection of products here to create a natural beauty look, a natural everyday makeup look. I did a poll on my Instagram stories to see whether you guys would prefer to see a natural look or an evening look and you chose natural which I'm very glad about and I thought today, a day with the family on a lovely sunny day would be the perfect time to do it. Before I get started as well, I am going to be putting all of the products that I've chosen as well as maybe some extras and maybe some other things generally from Amazon because I have loads of things from Amazon that are so useful like a lot of my wardrobe hack items like my D-Bobbler and things like that are all available on Amazon so I'm going to be creating like an Amazon storefront so if you want to shop my edit of the best things on there and particularly from the Find Beauty collection I'll leave that link down below and if you want to try any of the beauty products then they've very kindly given me a discount code which is Josie20 and that's valid I believe until the 7th of May if you want to try any of them save 20% off while it's brand new Okay, that's enough rambling, let's get started. So I've already done my base. Um, my skin felt quite dry this morning, so I've used a moisturizer, before that a serum, <laughs> and a CC serum, and I've even been like misting my face. I think it's because I had a super long bath and quite hot, maybe a little bit too hot, so my skin felt quite dehydrated. So we're gonna stick with the base, but first I'm gonna pop on my jazzy little headband. Okay, so now that my hair's out of the way, um, I think I'm actually gonna start with bronzer. So bronzer for me is great at creating a little bit of shape to the face. I use it like a contour as well. So this is a really lovely natural color. As you can see, it's not too dark. I've got the shade 01. This is what the packaging looks like. So very chic black packaging with this almost like a paint swash going across it. And then you do have a mirror in the lid. What's great about this is the whole range is really affordable. So much choice as well. I imagine they're just gonna keep adding more and more products, but even from the word go, the choice is really good. So I like to use a domed brush when applying my bronzer because then I can contour as well as add a little bit of warmth to the complexion. So I'm gonna, this is literally the first time I'm trying this, so I am gonna test it. Yeah, it's not too pigmented, so it should be good for a really natural color. So what I like to do, and a lot of makeup artists will tell you this, is create like a number three on the face. So that will just give you a little bit of shape and colour as well. This is a really lovely colour payoff and it's a really nice natural, natural shade. Sometimes I like to pinch my brush in and then create a slightly harsher line and that gives like a contoured effect as well. I always take my bronzer down my neck as well because I don't want any lines where my face stops and my neck starts and especially today when I'm wearing something as open as this, I wanna make sure we're all the same color. Okay, I'm not gonna go overboard on the bronzer because I do also have some fake tan on my face, but really happy with that. So that's 01, which I guess means it's probably the lightest shade and it's not too dark. I don't wanna be going orange or anything like that but it's just given a really nice bit of shape, as you can see, and warmth to my skin. I feel like blush is something that comes in and out of fashion, but I've always been a huge fan of blush. So the blush is in a slightly smaller palette, as you can see here. Again, it's got the mirror in the lid as well. I find if I've started with powder like my bronzer, then I should use a powder blush, and that's what this is. I've chosen the shade, again, 01. It's a really lovely petal pink, I would describe this as. In fact, it's quite similar 
to my YSL blush so I'll be very interested to compare the two because this as you can imagine was a fraction of the price so I'm going to use a duo fiber brush to pick up a little bit of product once again going to tap off the excess just test it out yeah, it's not too harsh nothing worse than going in and just ending up with pink doll-like splodges on your cheeks and the way that I apply blush instead of the sweeping motion that I use for bronzer is with like a patted motion that color is beautiful so I'm just applying this smiling to the plumpest part of my cheeks oh my goodness this shade is gorgeous that is such a pretty color oh my goodness so that's what it looks like in the palette and I'm going to finish off the complexion with a highlight stick so these are literally called find stick highlighter I've got the shade 02 and 01 shade number one this one here is slightly deeper and for me that would be perfect when I'm on holiday if you want that like sunset glow after a day on the beach that would be perfect but for today I'm gonna use shade number two because I feel like I just want a really nice fresh glow I think I'm gonna apply this with a fan brush let's see oh that is gorgeous no I'm gonna go straight in actually good thing about these sticks you can just apply it straight away even just a couple of strokes and hopefully you can see that is a beautiful highlight really natural and I'm gonna blend that in with my fingers just on the top of my cheekbones where the Sun would naturally hit so I'm just going for a really nice natural radiant look today for a day with the family and then I'm gonna use my finger to take it underneath the brow bone and this helps to lift the brows which gives a really flattering effect at opening up the eye area. I'm gonna pop a little bit on my schnozzle and on my cupid's bow. I'm really impressed with this. It gives a really natural lip from within kind of glow. It doesn't make my skin look wet, but it's definitely catching the light. I hope it looks as good on camera as it does in real life because this is beautiful. I'm gonna pop this in my handbag. Really easy to apply on the go. I think this could be a favorite so far. Or the blush, I don't know. I love the blush shade too. And the bronzer, I don't know. So we're gonna move on to the eyes next and I got a little bit carried away when it came to choosing eye products because they have a really good selection of neutrals. The first thing that I picked up is this quad. This is the number four quad and the products inside look like this. As you can tell instantly, they are my kind of everyday shades, so perfect for a natural look. A little bit of a cool toned, almost like a silver gray. And then you've got a really lovely caramel brown, um, a slightly metallic shiny pink, and then this is almost like a khaki but I thought that'd be really nice for pressing along the lash line. But as well as that, they also have some lovely little singles. And these are really great for shades that you know you're gonna use really often and great for popping in your gym bag, in your handbag, things like that. So I got these three shades. We've got shade number five, shade number six, and shade number four. Number four I thought would be a really good um, base product for the eyes. So let's. Do you know what? I'm actually going to start by taking number five on an angled brush and filling in my brows with it. I'm all about multitasking products and this looks like it's going to be the perfect shade, not too dark for my brows. So I've got this angled brush and I'm going to pick up some products, comb through the brows. Even these tiny ones have got mirrors in the lid, this is so handy. And then I'm just going to use really light strokes to first outline the brow and then fill it in. I can't believe this is my perfect brow colour. I try so hard to find the perfect shade, but so often my brows end up being too dark, especially at this time of the year when my hair actually gets a little bit lighter. I find it so harsh to have a really dark brow, but this I would say is like a really almost mushroomy shade, and it turns out to be my perfect brow colour. It's really natural looking, but where my brows are a little bit gappy, it's just absolute perfection at filling in the gaps. My brows are always going to be very much sisters and not twins. I've never had much luck in the brow department, so I don't like to spend too much time on them. But that was super quick and easy. I just used the angled brush to kind of feather in the eyeshadow. I love a good multitasker. So now let's move on to the actual eyeshadow. I'm going to start with the shade number four, which, as I mentioned, is kind of like a bone shade. And I have specific brushes for um, my lighter coloured eyeshadows. So I'm just going to swirl that around, tap off the excess, and apply this over the entire lid of my eyes. This will help to just create a really nice base so that the products that I apply over the top have a neutral, almost like a neutral canvas to start with. And I'm taking that right up to 
the brow bone. If it covers the highlight, I might just add in a little bit more highlight later. Next, I'm going to use some products from the quad. I'm going to start with this caramel shade, and I'm just going to apply that onto the lid, so no higher than the crease of my eye. That is a gorgeous shade. Oh my goodness. They're blending really nicely and I feel like you don't need much product at all. Sometimes with more affordable um, eyeshadows you really have to go in so many times and apply quite a lot of product but that is not the case here. This is almost like a gold shade. It's really beautiful. It's got a little bit of shimmer but not sparkly which I think is perfect for an everyday look. I feel like the highlight is just getting better as it kind of merges with my skin. I am loving this base. So I'm just taking this up to the crease and blending it very subtly in the corners. And then what I feel like doing actually is going in back with the blusher. I really like tying in my blush and my eyes, and this is quite a, quite a wearable pink from the eyes too, so I'm just gonna take a little pop of this and apply that in the middle of the eyelid. Been loving pink eyes lately, just a very subtle pink eye. And they actually blend really nicely together. And then because the pink in the quad is a little bit lighter and more shimmery, I'm going to finish with a pop of this bang in the middle. And again, this is really good at creating the illusion of wider awake eyes. It's really flattering and also a tiny bit just in the inner corner, which will hopefully make me look really refreshed and awake. Really happy with all of the eye products. They have blended together really nicely and it's still a really natural look but it's given my eyes a little bit of definition. Perfect colour combination. So within my selection of Find Beauty products I do actually have a specific brow highlight which is this product here. So I'm gonna see how... oh okay so it's actually not shimmery. It's more of a cream. So I'm gonna trace underneath my brow with this. And this will also help create a little bit of definition under the brows too. That's really lovely. That's very subtle for an everyday look. Just going to blend that in with my finger. And I do also have a an eyeliner. And it's a really lovely taupey brown shade. I've actually never seen an eyeliner this shade before. I don't like a thick line, but because... Um, my lashes are quite sparse at the moment from where I had lash extensions. I'm just going to apply this really close to the lash line. I want it to still be really natural, so I'm not going to do a thick line, um, but I feel that this will just add a little bit more definition to my lashes. I'm just going to spin you around a little bit because I need to get super close <laughs> to my mirror to do this. Okay, this colour is absolute perfection. It's almost like a taupey brown, so it looks really, really natural. The pen itself is super fine, but picks up plenty of products so you don't have to like scrape over and over again, which is the worst when you have like flickering lines for your eyeliner. So I've been able to create a really, really smooth line, which is perfect for an everyday look. I am next going to curl my lashes, and then I'm gonna use the Find Lengthening Mascara for a really lovely, fluttery brow look. It's a really unusual little brush. It's actually quite a tiny one, so hopefully I'll be able to wiggle this really close to the lashes to get a lovely, separated, spring, open eye lash look. I've also got the brown shade here. When I'm creating a more natural look, I like to go for brown mascara. Um, I just feel like it's a lot less harsh against my complexion. I am pleasantly surprised by this brush. I've never seen a short mascara brush like this before, but it's actually enabling me to really create a lot of volume. Super easy to use on the bottom lashes as well. The lashes are done, very impressed. That has really separated the lashes and given a lot of volume at the base, which I think is really flattering. I've also got a brow fixing mascara, so I'm gonna run this through my brows just to set them in place and also create a little bit more volume. So this is a clear brow gel, and with brow gels like this, I really don't think you need to spend a lot of money. I think even the most affordable brow gels are very effective, and this, I can tell instantly, is almost like a hairspray for the brows. Just going to set them in place all day long. And as always, I'm going to finish on the lips. So Fine Beauty have got a really good selection of lip products, ranging from these fabulous matte chubby sticks. I've got this gorgeous rose petal pink, which is so beautiful. They also, that's shade two. I've got shade number one of the matte lipstick, and that is a beautiful nude. They have a shiny lip fluid, which I guess is going to be a really lustrous lip gloss. I've got the shade seven, and also the shade seven in the lip gloss, which is, which is this lovely sparkling number. I think as I'm going for a natural look, I'm going to use the lipstick because it's the most beautiful nude shade, very up my street. It's a kind of your lips but better brownie pink that I think suits everyone, so I'm just going to apply this straight onto the lips. 
Oh my goodness, that is my perfect, absolute perfection everyday lip colour. It's a matte lipstick, so it's not got any shine to it, but it feels really comfortable, which is a godsend, which is amazing because, as you may know, matte lipsticks are often super drying on the lips, but this feels lovely and creamy. I'm going to pop this in my handbag. Hopefully it'll be fairly long-lasting as well, as matte lipsticks normally are. I'm also going to take the highlight in my handbag as well, just to top up the glow if I need to, but that's the finished look. I am really impressed with this. Super natural. The products are all working together really nicely. I think the shades are beautiful, really affordable. So first impressions of Amazon Find Beauty Collection, very good. I'm gonna whiz the hair dry through my hair now to finish off the look for the day and I'll catch you a little bit later. later um, I'm now sat in our new car we have just been to the Mazda garage in Croydon and picked up our new CX-5 it looks pretty much identical to the one that we had before but this one is grey on the outside and black leather on the inside we obviously worked with Mazda for like the past year or so fell so in love with the car and then when we had to give it back we just couldn't live without it so we've basically seen that as a year-long test drive and we now have our very own which is amazing I'll show it to you properly when we get to Charlie's mum and dad's um, but I've got a dash off now I'm gonna take it for its first ever drive this car has three miles on the um, on the dashboard it's only ever driven three miles it was shipped over from Japan and then bought to the garage on a lorry so let's take it for its first spin Okay, just got to Charlie's mum and dad's. After a lovely drive, the car has now done more than three miles. Um, it's gonna go in and say hello to everybody. I won't vlog too much because it's a family day, but um, yeah, I'm excited for a barbecue. Let's go. Wanna move my feet. Wanna drop out one. Wanna move my feet. Wanna drop out one. Wanna move my feet. Wanna drop out one. So I sat out in the garden. I'm with my. Yeah. Oh, you're my cousin. Yeah, I've got a lot of babies. I feel like. Oh, um, is this your first time meeting yeah. Dexter? Yeah. Just look at these things. It's first time meeting Dexter, but it's not on the head. All the way around. You're all the way around. Yeah. We are in the very spot, actually, where Dexter and Dickens first met. And they were first united. What do you think of my baby? I'll either take it with me or I'll do child my dog. Although he did just try and growl at home. Yeah. <laughs> special little boy, nice. we need to keep him hydrated. We're both in blue today. No! Nice. Very nice. We've come coordinated. Yeah, the barbecue's on. It's smelling good. We're about to have a family feast. Yes! Yeah. Dickens is not happy that there's a bigger doggy in his garden. You tell him, my chicken! You tell him. You tell him, Dickie! Food is served. I think you can be part of your voyage. I'm so proud. All in love today. This is also wholesome content. <laughs> So next we have dessert and this is the cheesecake that I made last night in the Thermomix. We have got ginger biscuits and then a lemon cheesecake and I've surrounded it by some lovely little rose petals. Looks good. 
Liverpool. Charlie Irons, what do you think of my cheesecake? And she actually said she hasn't said about quote, rating, never seeing someone who was married. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a slight, no, slightly, I, don't know I, tell you, right? I think maybe it's slightly longer in the fruit. I mean, I can't. Yeah. Like, well, don't tell me these are true. No, don't tell me these are true. Let me get to the river. Behind me, it's a water area. He just wants you to chase him. Oh, that's lovely. She is going to be taller. Yeah, she is tall. Is larger than a. Is she taller than you? Absolutely. I mean, taller than me. Yeah. Starfish rolling. Good morning. I've forgotten my vlogging camera, so I'm just gonna vlog on my phone this morning. But we've just come to Milo and the Bull for our Easter Sunday workout and we've just come up to the yoga studio to do a little bit of stretching and try and burn off some of the lovely food we had in yesterday's barbecue. <laughs> camera so a proper good morning um happy sunday it is easter day today we've just been for a milo and the bull class and it was the toughest one i think i've ever done it was really killer lots of rowing and lots of floor exercises we then went to a place called story which is just next door pretty much to milo and the bull and i had a really good avo on toast charlie had a bean on toast concoction and i wanted to also make my smoothie which I have done and I finally found the picture of the recipe so I'll put that on the screen here if you want to screenshot it because it honestly tastes better than any smoothie I've ever had in a fitness studio um, now I think the plan is to do a little bit of gardening it's another beautiful day and we've got the dryers out ready to do some chores as well my chicken is already tired out from the heat <laughs> didn't I make you jump baby and then I think we're going to take the boys for a nice walk a little bit later. Maybe go down to Richmond Park or something nice like that. So I'm going to hop in the shower, enjoy my smoothie and then start this lovely day. We meet back here again. I have just had the best like pampering shower not I haven't done my hair but you know when you just thoroughly scrub and apply loads of body lotion so I'm feeling good I'm gonna head back out into the sunshine but I'm just gonna use GHD glide to sort out my hair I'm probably gonna use a headband and also sticking with the Amazon beauty theme I'm going to use the Find Beauty Lip Liner, which I totally forgot that I had while doing my makeup yesterday. But I feel like for a natural everyday makeup, lip liner can sometimes be a little bit too intense. And then I'm going to use the same nude lipstick because that was just so gorgeous yesterday. But first, let's sort out this hair. I find the glide so good for day two hair when maybe your hair is a little bit frizzy and you just want to smooth it out so that's perfect so the lip liner is the shade 07 which for me is just the perfect nude and I have traced just over my natural lip line which has given a really lovely voluminized look and then I'm gonna fill in the middle with the nude lipstick or shall I try something different let's actually try this find shiny lip chubby this is the one in the shade 02 okay I am so glad I tried this this is absolutely gorgeous I love lipsticks that have a really balmy feel it's not glossy on the lips but it's given them a little bit of a sheen like a really nourishing balm feel so it's called the shiny lip chubby uh, and that is going to be so easy to just scroll up as I need to top it up as well that is such a beautiful rosy pink shade so I'm just gonna pop on my headband and we are ready to film I feel like the lighting here in my filming corner is so much more flattering for the makeup um, so as you can see I've used the same highlight as yesterday the find beauty little chubby stick which is so easy to apply I used the pinky shade from the quad and that little chubby lipstick which is gonna be a firm favorite looks a lot more true in this lighting so this is my little filming corner and um, I'll see you afterwards 
It's Monday morning, didn't vlog too much yesterday because we were just having such a chill day. So we're gonna make this into a bank holiday weekend vlog, starting off again at Milo and the Bull. We always come up to the yoga studio just to stretch first, which I have done. And now it's time for an intense workout with Adam. Let's do this. <laughs> Our trip to the Battersea Flower Station, which is our nearest um, cute little garden centre. Freshly showered and I've had a bacon bussy for breakfast. Now we are heading out into the garden again, day two of gardening, and we've bought lots of nice little plants to fill in the gaps. So um, it's currently 26 degrees outside, so we're just making the most of this heat wave and getting our and getting our garden ready for a little barbecue later. These are the bits that we bought from the garden centre. What do you think, Dickie? Not bad, Mummy. Okay, so we've pulled back the rose bush and we've planted some rosemary. Next, I think we're gonna put this hydrangea in this little gap here, because it does like a little bit of sunshine. Dexter and Dickens are being kept busy with various treats, otherwise they tend to like to help us with our gardening, don't you, Dexy? You got a bit of a horticulturalist in you? Yes, mummy, I love to do gardening. Digging is my speciality. And I just mostly like to eat mud. Dicky, Dicky, don't eat the hydrangea, my angel. That's not tasty for big boys. So we've been gardening for the past maybe three hours and somehow my white dress is still white, which I'm very impressed with. The garden is looking so lovely. The last thing we've got to do is paint the shed behind me. It's looking a little bit greeny gray, um, but I thought I would give you a little tour of what we've done so far. Alexa, switch off. So this bush here is actually from the neighbor's garden, but it's a really beautiful little white flower, whitey pink flower at this time of year. And then down here, we've got our little potted area, um, some lovely azalea. We've got some hydrangeas, which are yet to bloom. We've got some lilies down here as well. And then this little wooden trough is actually our mini herb garden. I'm always picking mint for mint teas and pea and mint soup. So that grows back pretty quickly, um, which is great. Don't need to buy mint from the supermarket. This is a dead bush, which we will be pulling out next time we garden. We did have two of them, but we did one today, and I think it probably just got strangled by all the ivy, which is a shame, but we're gonna find something really lovely to put in there. Another hydrangea, and then this is like a little daisy bush. We've got some beautiful ranunculus flowers in some pots down here, and then there's one which is even more in bloom on this side. It's looking a little bit overexposed. Let's get a bit closer. So you can see some beautiful little pink and white ranunculus. I can't actually remember what this one is. And then we've got a lovely, a lovely purple floral bush there. The shed, which we're about to paint. We tidied up and put some more compost on these edges. Um, yesterday we pulled down loads of foliage from up there. So it was looking a little bit empty. So today we've planted a new rosemary bush, this one here. Um, this is a hydrangea bush. We've got a rose bush from a couple of years ago that we tied back as well. And we've put some feed on. That's a little brown stuff down the bottom. Over here is the big pot that we took the dead bush out on this side. And then we've made this into a new little potted plant area. We've got some nice lilies. Another lily in there, just a bulb at the moment. Another hydrangea bush. 
This is going to be a climbing jasmine, which I think will be really pretty. It might grow up to be like this one day as well, hopefully. And this, I believe, is a little poppy, so hopefully that will grow and then one day we'll plant it in the um, main side area as well. down to edit this vlog and realized that I didn't finish it properly I just left you with a time lapse of us painting the shed which is now done um, and you'll be pleased to know that my white dress remained white it only got mucky when I picked up Dickens because he had been exploring the freshly watered um, plant beds so very impressed I managed to do a whole day of gardening and paint a garden shed in a white dress and it remained stain free. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog, it has been very wholesome with lots of family barbecuing, gardening, dog walking, workouts and things like that but that's what our bank holiday weekend was like, it's Tuesday now, back to work. So I hope you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next one.